Let's try some work with operations with radicals. In this question, there are two. In this first one, my job is going to be to convert them all to similar type numbers on the inside. So first I'm going to break down 12. What multiplies to 12? 3 times 4. And my goal is always to get one of the numbers on the inside to be a nice perfect square. I know 4 is going to square root nicely. 18 breaks down to 2 times 9, 9 being another perfect square. 27, if I divide that by 3, I get 9, so I can make that 3 times 9. And lastly, 50. I know 50 is made up of 2 times 25, and 25 is another perfect square. So I can break all those roots down into the composite of two mul numbers multiplied times each other, where one of those numbers is a perfect square. And next I'll separate the root, which you can do. 3 times 4 inside the root is the same as root 3 times root 4. And the same with 2 times 9 inside the root is the same as root 2 times root 9. And so on. This will be root 3 times root 9. And this will be root 2 times 25, root 25. You know, I don't even need those little time symbols between. But I put them there, hopefully, for clarity. So now I'll have, this is root 3 times the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is just 2. So I get root 3 times 2. Plus root 2 times the square root of 9, that's just 3. Minus root 3 times the square root of 9, again, that's just 3. Plus root 2 times the square root of 25, that's just 5. And I'll rewrite those with the number in front. That is, this 2 will be like a coefficient. 2 root 3 plus 3 times root 2. That's just 3 times root 2 with the 3 in front. Same as this. Root 3 times 3 is the same as 3 times root 3. Just reverse the order. And same thing here. 5 times root 2 is just 5 times root 2 in front. And the last thing I do is then just organize the same roots together. I have two root threes, take away three root threes, that's negative root three. And I have three root twos plus five root twos, that's plus eight root twos. So I've simplified without actually using a calculator and without rounding or estimating, which is great. On this other example, a little bit different work that I need to do. I've got two numbers and two numbers. I'm going to consider each of these just a number just like a fraction has two numbers in it and yet it represents one number so is 3 root 3 have two numbers in it but it really represents one number I'm going to use these two sets and do that rainbowing stuff or foil distributing among each bracket so I'm going to multiply that first thing in the first brackets times each of these two so that's going to give me root 3 times 3 root 3 so 3 times root 3, and I'm not even going to put brackets, just 3 times root 3, all times 3. I'm going to take this thing again and multiply it by the second thing. Notice there's a negative there, I better put that now. And I'll multiply 3 times 2, and that'll give me 6. And then I'll have root 2 and root 3 also being multiplied. I'm going to do the same with this second thing in the first bracket, multiply times the first thing in the second bracket, and the first thing, and the second thing in the second bracket. So 4 root 2 times root 3 gives me plus 4 root 2 root 3, and then 4 times negative 2, but I forget that negative, and I get 4 times 2 is 8, and then root 2 times root 2. Let's simplify. Well, 3 times root 3 times root 3, that's the same as 3 times root 3 times root 3. When you multiply two roots together the same, you just get the number. Over here, I'll have minus 6, and I'll do root, t, root 2 times root 3. Root 2 times root 3 is the same as root 6. Plus 4, again, root 2 times root 3, that'll give me root 6. And then minus 8, root 2 times root 2 when you're multiplying the same root, just like root 3, root 3 gave us 3, root 2 times root 2 will just give us 2. 
3 times 3 is easy, that's just 9, minus 6 root 6, plus 4 root 6, oh, could have combined those, I'll do that on the next step, minus 8 times 2, that's minus 16. So what am I left with? Well, I'll do the whole numbers, 9 minus 16, that's negative 7, and then minus 6 root 6's, plus 4 root 6's, that's minus 2 root 6. Once again, I've simplified without using any estimating or rounding.